We are committed to our community, right? So one thing that we have an opportunity to do this year is Team Impact. And I know a lot of you have, have met Ashlyn and have seen Ashlyn around. So Ashlyn is a little five-year-old who comes with her mom and dad and sister that is becoming a part of our team. So Team Impact is a program that matches children with chronic illnesses and disabilities with college athletic teams. So they do it throughout the country. Um, it is, is a really big honor to be a part of this. Um, so a little info on Ashlyn, um, she's five years old, she'll turn six in November. Um, she has supraventricular tachycardia, so her heart beats really, really fast. So she's not able to do a lot of activities like other kids her age. Um, she can't really go to school that often, like she's on a lot of medication, she has a lot of doctor's appointments. So what we get to do is we get to be her, her social network, we get to be her support system, we get to be her cheerleaders, her confidants, her friends. So our newest Terp today is Ashlyn Barrett and her family, Jen and Justin and Mackenzie. And we're just excited to finally have her sign. So Ashlyn, are you ready to sign? All right, sign your hand. Yeah. 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 Nice bright yellow. Yeah. 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 Ashlyn, on uh, behalf of our team, we are really, really excited to be ha to have you as a member of our team and our program, and we get to welcome in your special family, right? And uh, you know, it's an honor. We want to be able to give you a, a jersey. It's going to give you a lot of room to grow into, okay? so you'll be able to wear it for a long, long time. Ooh, that looks pretty. All right, now we're going to open it up to questions. So, do we have any questions in here for Ashlyn or Coach Freeze here? What are you looking forward to most this year? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jennifer Barrett, and uh, we got involved with Team Impact. Actually, Ashlyn uh, was nominated by the hospital um, that she was going to, Anne Arundel Medical Center, and they thought she was a good candidate, so they teamed us up with them, started working with Team Impact. They wanted to find a, a good team uh, for her to be on. There was a lot of stipulations because she can't be out in the heat, she can't be in certain environments um, due to her illnesses, and so they just found um, the basketball uh, was going to be perfect. And so they contacted uh, Coach B and she was all in for it and we just hooked up and it's been great ever since. Oh my God, the girls have embraced her. Um, it's 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 overwhelming. I mean, it's just overwhelming. Um, she's my uh, my husband coaches my older daughter's soccer and basketball teams, and Ashlyn has never had the opportunity to be a part of a team. Um, so this is giving her that chance to uh, to feel like she's part of something and to belong to a team. Um, it's it's something that. I don't know if she'll ever get to experience, but to have that now um, when she needs it most is, is amazing. Why don't you tell Ryan who your favorite player is? Who's your... Bones. And why do you like Bones? Because she's really fast. Because she's really fast? <laughs> That's her favorite player, she told me. And I said, well, what's her name? Her name's Bones. <laughs> so today, I had a piece of paper with all the names, and I said, and I told her then what your name is. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. I said, that's her nickname, Bones. Yeah. I'm very happy about it. Happy for my great-granddaughter, because I know this was a big day for her. They took a picture of her at the last scrimmage, or I think, I think it was a scrimmage. Um, and the girls were all sitting oh, really with madness. their back, yeah. and you saw the back of her head <laughs> sitting in, in between them, like, just like she's a member of the team. I really love that picture. <laughs> Ashlyn is a sweet little girl. And she's very, uh, she's happy. Uh, when she gets sick, she's very sick. But when she's not sick, she, you would never know that she had a problem. She just dances around, she's happy. You know, it's, 
just breaks our heart that she has this problem, but. I think, you know, she's six going on like 20. Like, I, she really is like, she acts like she's our age. Um, she's, let me tell you what I love about Ashton the most. We have the same exact personality. Like, we are the same person. You know, she's really outgoing, she's fun. <laughs> Just to have that around your team. Like, she makes us smile. You know, we may have nerves or something before the game, but then when Ashlyn comes in and just is, like, goofy in the locker room, like, it's just awesome. And, you know, seeing her out on the court with us during our warm-up, you know, tapping us up, like, she really, she could be a member of our team. Like, I mean, she is, but, like, she's just, she's amazing. Yeah, our team loves when Ashlyn is able to attend the games, and it starts, you know, as soon as she gets here in the locker room for the pregame talk, you know, coming out on out on the court and and being a part, you know, on the bench, you know, helping with the pregame, you know, introductions. She's right there, you know, in in the in the huddle. So, you know, it's really incredible to watch, and our players have really just kind of embraced her and made her a part of our team and and of our family. together, but for them to take their time, to me it's amazing. And I mean, she is so comfortable with those girls that whoever takes her by the hand and takes her, she just goes. No, they've all been great. The girls, I tell you, it's 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 more than I could hope for. It makes me really proud to, first and foremost, to be able to see Ashlyn and just the pure joy and happiness that this birthday party with the team and what it means. And, you know, to be able to see for our players, you know, just uh, giving back and that it's truly real. You know, they're celebrating with Ashlyn and they're, they're so excited for her. And just, uh, they understand what role models they are, but uh, it's really special to be able to see. Oh, Definitely an inspiration for me. Like you just, you can't take life for granted. You gotta live every day like it's your last and you just gotta be happy. There's no room to have, you know, attitude. Like just be happy and have fun because life's too short to just be, you know, worried about, you know, this and that. And Ashlyn definitely, you know, she demonstrates that and she has such a beautiful character and she just brings smiles to everyone's faces. I'm excited to see how the team's going to do now, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're going to yeah. do good. We're yeah, going to do good. I mean, I think definitely every game I get excited. I think it was awesome to finally be back at home again in front of our home crowd, um, playing in front of our fans. And I think, um, I know they had just come off a big win against Ohio State, which is, I know they were up. Um, so that was cool to be able to play against them at their, when they were at the best. And I think that it was just... I mean, every game is fun, so it was awesome to get to be back on the court, especially in, at, in front of our home crowd. Mosley at the left sideline, well behind the arc. Picks the dribble up, off the dribble, fires the three and connects. Oh, I thought uh, Northwestern was really scrappy, pesky. 
uh, attack the ball a lot every single possession down the court. So, you know, finding that balance, I mean, you want to be able to be able to attack, uh, you know, and, and be under control and um, just trying to stay within the game. I mean, a lot of uncharacteristic turnovers for us. So um, credit their defense, but uh, we've got to be a little bit stronger with the basketball. Mosley, one-on-one -on -one the other way, goes right past the Northwestern defender. Lyon had no chance as Mosley lays it in. Walker Kimbrough with the rebound, sprint dribble the other way. Lyon finds Confroy on the right side for a three. Kristen Confroy, left side, Mosley into the corner to Walker Kimbrough. To Furman, skip pass right side, Confroy for three, count it. Big bucket for Kristen Confroy. Three threes this afternoon. A, a, a huge game for KC. I mean, tied the school record for threes, eight for 10. You know, she was ready to play. Uh, all the extra hours that she's put in the gym working on, on her shot. And I thought her teammates did a phenomenal job finding her when she had the hot hand, you know, really penetrating, using the skip passes, and um, really making Northwestern have to come out of the zone in terms of how she was shooting the ball. And it's 46 36. Terps Confroy, three point shot, right side is good. She's almost automatic. Um, it's just rewarding to see that all the work you put in is paying off. Um, but it's definitely, I owe it all to my teammates for finding me and being able to make good passes and um, get me open looks. Walker Kimbrough, skip pass, Confroy for three, count it. Wow. Seven for seven from the three point line. Left side, Confroy. Confroy connects on the three to tie the school record. Um, I had heard about it, but I wasn't really sure the validity of it at the time. I had eight. Tied the school record. Eight out of ten from the three-point line. Oh, Thought a uh, phenomenal boys. job as a team finding her. Uh -huh. All right. Wow. 24 wow. points, 10 points. Yeah. Yeah. Great job putting work. Wow. 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 I mean, you can't. The shorty puts it, puts it in. She's been putting in all the work behind the scenes, so I'm happy for her today. It's a great day. I'm glad she could be able to knock these shots down. She deserves all the glory. And then to see the fact that No Coach B showed us the interview after and how she gave it all to her teammates, but I mean, a lot of that goes on her. If it weren't for her getting extra shots, putting in all the work, she wanted to put herself in those positions to have such, games like, such great games like that. So it's just awesome to see someone who works like that get some reward. And the other thing I want to say is we not the dude. Everybody, <laughs> all right, ain't nobody getting nothing. Man, it's over today. five for three, all right. Uh, Coffee didn't get a double double. Okay, Jerry didn't get a steal. She had four. She she only gets five, all right. And then fourteen, they got a double double. No buckets. Okay, so good job. Great work. Yeah, yeah. 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 we have a high, uh, really high standard here for you guys defensively. So. I thought we did a remarkable job when you talk about uh, Lions making her life miserable. Um, again, it percentages holding a, a really good team in conference, 36%, 11%. Team Lockdown! Woo! Next, just recovery, day off, be able to relax, get feet, you know, get our legs rested and stuff like that, and then we're on to the next team. In Maryland, awfully tough at home, and awfully tough when they got a shooter like that. Um, so on Friday we had the Special Olympics um, where we just had a bunch of kids come in and we were teaching them basketball and skills and it was just a lot of fun. We got to interact with them and I think they had a lot of fun learning from us and seeing us on the court. I know a few of the people were like, this is so cool, this is where you guys play basketball. And I think that it was just fun to see them um, on the court playing. I just like being here. It's fun. It's exciting. This is my first time here. I just love it. This is so cool. Well, so we had different stations set up, and I think each station was about six or seven minutes, and the kids would rotate around from station to station. I'm, my station was Agilities. Um, we were, me, Kaya, and Coach Pat had put them through some Agilities. I know there was a shooting station, a passing station, a dribbling station, so I think that they had a lot of fun just learning little individual skills that, make, that are part of the game of basketball. We actually did shooting with the kids, and it was a lot of fun. We actually did a familiar drill that our team loves, which is called 180, and the kids had a blast with it, and we had fun doing it as well. One of the girls from the Maryland team coached me how to do some dribbling and passing and everything. I like to support my basketball players. Yeah, I like to see them play and teach me some new moves and stuff. 
Probably the most fun that I had was being with Shatori and seeing how well she interacted with the kids and just made them feel very welcomed and very loved. And I know they absolutely had so much fun with her and I was just sort of able to assist and watch and also help. And it was just a good time. And I think a lot of times when people think community service, they think work, but for us it wasn't and we just had so much fun. I think just seeing the kids and how much fun and admiration they had. They wanted to learn everything. They wanted to be there. They were enjoying themselves and just the, it was pure happiness throughout the day from everybody on both ends, from the kids and from our end. Being in the position of a coach rather than a player, it was, uh, it was different. It was cool to um, be the one in charge, to be helping people. I know for me, I love helping people and it was cool to be able to help the kids and um, see that they were actually really learning. I mean, the agility station was really fun. Um, because we put them through different things like movements and stuff and just to see how they progressed and they got better as they went through the station. Even though it was only six minutes, which doesn't seem like a lot of time, um, they definitely got better throughout the stations. Uh, they're cool, they're fun. Uh, it taught me uh, everything that I didn't know about basketball. Coaching is actually something I want to get into, so I had a I thought it was really fun just being able to teach kids and being in that role instead of being the one that is always getting taught. And it's just, it's a great feeling when you see someone progress and start getting so much better. Just from that little amount of time we had with them, they got better at basketball and they had fun doing it, which was probably the best part. My name is Patrick Gustis. I'm the Assistant Director of Basketball Performance here at the University of Maryland. Uh, we had one of the Special Olympics athletes um, that was a pretty big guy, and I asked him if he'd like to lift weights. He said yes. He was like, is there a weight room here? I was like, yeah, there's one right around the corner. And so we decided that uh, he wanted to go check out the weight room. And once we got in there, he was, you could just tell, he, he really lit up. Um, he talked about the weight room that they have uh, back where he spends most of his time, I guess at their rec center. And um, he just really enjoyed being there. Gonna be like Arnold before you know it. Getting strong, getting real strong. Kind of showed me some of his favorite exercises that he does back at his rec center. Um, and then I kind of showed him a few extra ones that, that we do here that he's not able to do there. So uh, it was good. Uh, of course, we moved around a little weight. He was really strong. I think he did about 12 pull-ups and he did some bench press, so it was a good time. With the bench press, he did a great job. Um, we ended up putting about 135 pounds on there and he, he repped it out about 15 times. Um, and we did some med ball slams and he actually broke one of our med balls. So he was, he was pretty strong. Uh, in my house, I will do my, I will do my push-ups, my, my um, sit-up, my squats, lift my weight to be stronger, fit, to help my family. Personally, I mean, it was, a, it was a great time. I think I ended up taking more away from it than the kids did. They all came in with such positive energy and, and it, was a, it was a great environment. Our girls really did a great job working with them and, and building that environment as well. And everybody had a good time. And me personally, I got a lot out of it. It's my best friend right here. We had a great time. Wow, this wow. man right here. This Baller, right here. great agilities. You did so good, you got media. Yup, media. We just really appreciate the opportunity coming out here and, and you know, getting exposure and learning from the, the collegiate team. And I hope that the collegiate team will take away some good memories and some lessons from us as well. You know, when I look back now, it's been 10 years, and obviously I was a young, brash, fearless head coach, but, you know, I think you just have great perspective. You know, one, just how hard it is to do, to be the last team standing, you know, to, to take that win, you know, of the 300 plus teams that, that are out there, to be able to make that run six games to win a national championship. Well, I remember playing St. John's because it was a really close game, and I knew that we were kind of scared. That was our second game in the run. Um, so I definitely remember that one, and I feel like getting over that initial hump of nerves really helped us. I remember um, I played really well, I want to say the first game. I can't remember who it was, but I had a outstanding game. Then I remember going to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. We all got the flu. It was nasty. The championship game, I mean, that's the 
That's the biggest memory. That was the icing on the cake for us. Uh, she came in there and she was fired up. She was angry. She was like, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're down there laughing. They're, cel they're celebrating. They're happy. Uh, you know, they, they think they've got this game won. And from that moment on, I think it fired the whole team up. I think she was, she was saying um, they, were la they were laughing at us or something. They think the game's over and all this stuff. And we got, we fed up. So we were just, we believed everything. And, you know, we were so hyped up for it. Like, you know, they think the game's over and blah, blah, blah. And we were just ready to go. I was at Buffalo Wild Wings watching the 2006 National Championship and Maryland was down by 20, and I still thought they could win, and sort of the people I around were like, no, there's no way they can win, they can't do it, and I was like, whatever. And I told my mom I was ready to go home. When I got back home, the game was super close, and I, and I couldn't believe it, and I was like, I told you, Mom, I knew they would come back. Christy and Marissa got this. When, when it left her hands, I was like, if she gets a good look, it's going in. You know, she just has a knack for, for hitting those big, big shots. And when we went to overtime, I don't think there was a doubt in anybody's mind affiliated with Maryland. I mean, me, maybe even Duke, because everybody knew our success in overtime at, uh, at that point. So there wasn't a doubt in my mind, and I don't think anybody else is that, you know, we were going to come out uh, victorious. Honestly, that moment after she hit the shot felt like we won the championship. And as much as that might seem kind of cliche and that it's not right to celebrate early, that was the moment I knew we were going to win. Who could beat us after someone hit that kind of shot that we fought back that hard? All those things, everything was aligned in our way for our sixth overtime win to just be set on the stage. We knew right then that was going to be it. You really couldn't have scripted the, the game any better. You know, Maryland wins the, their first ever national championship uh, with the, just a young, fearless team, two freshmen, two sophomores, and, and a junior in the starting lineup.